Jubiest of the Tubiest. The best YouTube subscribers on the planet. That's you. And I'm 50 plus. So listen, <clears throat> let me first start by saying, I know this is the first video I posted in a little bit. And um, for a couple of reasons. Uh, first, uh, I have students on my truck, obviously. And um, they are my, my number one uh, uh, of importance. Okay, so um, they they have to get all my attention, uh, and because I mean their future can very well hinge on me as their mentor. They deserve that attention, and um, if uh, making a, a a YouTube video is going to get in the way of that, then the YouTube video has to take a back seat, you know. And so uh, that that's one of the things. And the next thing is. I have to have viable cont uh, content to give to you guys. I'm not going to just make a video to keep my uh, YouTube algorithms up, you know, by, and, and, and if you don't make them every day, your YouTube algorithms goes down and less people see your videos. Okay. Unless you guys thumbs up the videos, like, and subscribe and all that kind of stuff that then helps the YouTube algorithms. And then, it, it reaches other people or more people but uh i'm just not gonna make video content every day just to keep my youtube algorithms up and i'm wasting your time with nonsense stuff you can't use okay and um you know and 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 then of course you know i have things that goes on in my life that that you know takes me out of the mood <laughs> so all right so understand that you know i didn't forget you guys i never will uh so t for today listen uh you guys look at this that's gonna be tomorrow's video <laughs> anyways um uh, listen i had, i was having a uh a little discussion with uh i don't think this guy's a subscriber but maybe maybe uh, but he, he brings up some some uh, a, a valid situation. I, I don't say that he makes a valid point, in my opinion. Okay, but uh, this is a this is something that you guys need to uh, have your eyes open to. Okay, he says. Uh, first off, the uh, title of the video that he com he commented on was the best company for a new driver. That was the title of the the video that he commented on. He says uh, the worst companies for a new driver is America Carrier. Go to LTL or a construction company. So he's he's immediately before we go any further, I know who he is. Immediately, well, he can be one of two people. Okay, one he is a a million miler that's been around forever who has hatred for mega carriers, or He's not in the industry at all yet, but he listens to people who think that way. Okay, and I'm gonna tell you this: they they not call mega carriers for for nothing. I mean, the one that I worked for it has like twenty five thousand trucks. So even if a a, a twenty five percent, twenty percent, ten percent of their fleet is bringing on new drivers they're going to bring on you know, 2500 drivers regularly okay same thing with other big companies and uh all we're looking for is to start right and if, if these companies are willing to bring you on and give you a start then go for it um Construction companies and um, LTL companies, I don't, I, I, maybe some, but very, very few, if any, um, uh, construction companies will actually help you get your CDL. Basically, you can be broke. You can have lost your job. You know, uh, you can be homeless i mean i mean you could you could you could be at the worst part of the, in, in your life and you have nothing zero and these mega carriers will 
put you in a hotel, feed you, give you some pocket change, help you get your CDL, and give you a job. Man, these people will give you a life. Do you understand what I'm telling you? You can have nothing. And these people have the resources to change your life. Then you're going to have guys who are angry because they're still living in a, you know, 19th century or some shit. I don't know. But they believe that mega carriers are the devil. Hey, man, maybe they are. You know, may have to dance with him for a little while. Get yours and then move on. So this is what I, my opinion on it, okay? He says, I, he says they, that, uh, that uh, they're the worst company. So anyways, my response was simple. It was, why are mega carriers bad? That's it. I'm setting the guy up. He's, he's not going on. He's, he's, he's don't have a good response. I know he don't. Okay, so he says, uh, they take advantage of new drivers and pay the lowest wages in the industry. Uh, watch, and then he mentions a, a YouTube page, which, by the way, I have watched him in the past. I don't watch a whole lot of YouTube people. I don't watch a lot of YouTube truck stuff. It's not all positive, you know, and if I can't get useful information out of it, I don't watch them, you know, so they have nothing to me. But anyways, what he's saying is that they pay the lowest wages. Listen, would they not by nature pay the lowest wages if they're hiring drivers with no experience? Are you kidding me? How are you supposed to pay high wages to somebody that has no experience? Don't know what they're doing. You paying them to, to, to learn, you pay them to get their license, you're paying them to better their life. And you're supposed to get them some, some astronomical weights at the same time. Tell me that that makes zero sense so you and I can agree. But me and this guy obviously doesn't. So I said, uh, I said, I've watched this channel many times and I respect this old blah, 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 blah. So I, I, I won't get into that part because um, I don't want to get away the channel that I'm talking to. It's, just, it's not, not necessary. But anyways, I ended up with... Uh, um, I told him the truth is that I made just a hundred thousand dollars with the mega carrier that I worked for in my first year. Uh, and I said, I know you don't believe me, but I will email you my last paycheck stub so you can see that I'm telling the truth, basically. Okay, so uh, the conversation was if you think that the mega carriers are bad they can't make you can't make money they pay the lowest wage my very first year with this mega carrier i made just a hundred thousand dollars and i was fresh off my trainer's truck i'm a different breed I'm, I'm i'm gonna take advantage of every opportunity i can to capitalize on that income but everybody can okay not everybody can capitalize on every aspect of things but they can uh bump their income up a little bit uh, using other tools that the uh, that the carrier offers. Okay, so um, hey, listen, if you if you, if it's in you, if it's in your nature, the a big way to up your income is to be a a, a mentor, a trainer. You know, give pass on your skills to someone else. All these things don't come with a brand new career and you know with no experience you're just not gonna okay i don't have any experience so i'm gonna start training someone else it doesn't work like that it, all, all my all those things that come in time okay but they but it can it can happen and i did very very well so basically i'm just telling this guy if you allow me i will email you my last paycheck stuff you can see that i'm not lying to you that your theory that you can't make money as a rookie at a mega carrier is just false. And I was going to just show it to, to be factual. His next statement is, I have 35 years, don't piss on my shoes and tell me it's raining. Automatically, I told you, I told you this guy was some, been around forever, million miler kind of guy who's, who's, who just don't think for much. You know, that's just what it is, okay? And that's okay. Uh, 
I'm, I'm, I'm at a construction site and I'm just trying to make sure uh, these guys don't skip me. Anyways, I told him I got nothing to gain for lying to you. And then he goes, he switches gears. He says, the company that I work for has nearly 95% turnover. Uh, some return and quit a second time. These numbers are real. That's all I have to say. Basically, when his argument runs out, change gears, and then bails and runs because he can't back up the yap yap that he's saying, okay? The reason I bring that up, and by the way, if he, if he, happens to watch this video I, I, I it's not i don't have any ill feelings or i'm not you know anger or anything but i am here to educate those who are getting into this industry not those who've already made a 35 year career at this okay the industry when when this driver got in 35 years ago is a completely different beast than it is today so if you quit accepting um the progression of the industry years ago, you can't help someone today because you're still stuck in the way back then. You're not going to be able to help somebody. That's just the bottom line, okay? So that being said, I want you guys to hear, hear me. Listen to what I'm trying to tell you. If someone is coming at you and they are extremely negative on a particular thing I don't want you to completely discount that it could be some good wisdom just poor delivery but investigate it for yourself and just take it with a grain of salt and if somebody is 100% extremely positive about one situation at all times take it with a grain of salt and do your own investigation okay in both instances, somebody's trying to sell you something. Have that as your thought process and think for yourself, okay? The reason I started this channel is because there's so much negative information, especially in this, in this industry. You know, you can, you can, this, there's uh, probably 10 trucks out here getting ready to want to be unloaded. You can throw a rock and hit nine negative attitudes. Uh, it, that's just what it is. It's just a fact, and if you if guys have been out here, they know that I'm telling the truth. You know, you say good morning to a lot of these guys, man. They go, hey, right here. that's a fact, man. It's not that I'm trying to be a jerk. I'm not. I'm, I'm just telling you what, what the honest truth is. And when they start these YouTube channels, you know, they they start with that negative stuff, man. And it's the ne same negative that's been around for years and years and years and years. So be careful with that, okay? If you are getting into this industry, there's even Melton, the company that I'm working for, they will, they will, uh, they'll do the same thing, man. I mean, they will, and not, they're not necessarily a mega carrier, but they'll do the same thing. You can have nothing, bro. You can be, you know, ass out. And you can call Melton and Melton will change your life. Do you understand what I'm telling you? Find you a school near you, best they can, help you get through that school. Give you a little financial support while you're going through it. Give you a job, man. And you can be in a totally different situation than you were before. I mean, absolutely change your life, okay? And you're not a mega carrier. This is industry um, changing stuff right here. They know what they have to do to stay afloat and, uh, and, and bring in new drivers. And hey, man, it's what you are. It's what you're doing, okay? But you cannot expect to get into this industry and make top pay. In any industry, everybody starts at the bottom. Okay, unless you're the boss's son, I guess you won't. You may not have to start at the bottom. You understand what I'm saying? You got to. You guys have to think about it, right? Think. Don't, 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 don't just listen to these people and run with it. All right. 
you know, now, now I'm starting to ramble a little bit. So let me just let you guys go with this. Get in where you can fit in, okay? Not all shoes fit. Not all mega carriers are going to be uh, good for you. Not all eight LTL companies are going to be good for you. And I can tell you right now, if I had little to no um, um, experience, I would not have you do this. Watch this. Let me see if I can change you guys. Y'all see this? I'm at a construction site. That guy said go to a construction company. I'm going to tell you something, man. All around this place is nothing but dirt. I'm on a big, huge slab. Man, and see these trucks, man? I was here yesterday. I'm so angry with this. They they, they skipping me, but I'm going to go uh, act a little fool. As soon as I get up through this. I'm not going to act a fool, but I'm going to let them know that they, uh, they, 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 they don't need to be trying to skip me. I, I don't have time to be skipped. But you don't need to be an inexperienced driver going into construction sites, man. Do not. Do not take that advice, okay? Go get you some experience first because these are uneven pavements and uh, and there's so much to hit. A lot of the uh, maneuvers are, are close quarters. Don't, don't, don't take that advice. Get you some experience before you go to a construction company. I hope that uh, you guys can understand what I was trying to get at with this deal, man. I'm not... I hope he doesn't think that I was beating up on him, but I'm, I, I won't let you guys read comment like that with uh with no support because it can have you do you can you can you know do some really crazy stuff man you can you follow that lead and i can promise you regret will set in relatively quickly you will quit you will you, you won't stay last in this industry because that stuff man that he's wanting you to do is unreachable for a whole lot of people and uh and, it, and you're destined to fail Okay, so I hope that I, I, I kind of shed your light on that. If you want to go to a mega carry, go to a mega carry. Do not listen to these people. Hey, go get what you can get when you can get it. Don't listen to these people tell you crazy stuff. And notice I didn't, I didn't, I didn't mention which mega carry. Go to any of them. If you, if it works for you, go get it. I see you in a little bit. Till I see you again, deliver and distracted. And here's your boop. Yeah, boop.